In the brewing industry, I, I think facial hair is a prerequisite. Yeah, breweries and beer and beards all go together. I never could figure out why uh, you know they have such solidarity. Maybe it's the independent streak. Maybe it's uh, the ability to say, I'm going to do what I want. We try to be as creative as possible. It starts with a name. Kentucky Ride Chicken. Uh, Brett the Hitman Hop. A lot of them are inside jokes. I'm a pun kind of guy. I like, I like coming up with this stuff. With brewing, it's a very laborious and taxing job. So if you put all of your energy into that, you don't feel like shaving. A lot of times, all of us don't have time to wake up in the morning and run a razor across our face. But you also don't want to look like a werewolf, so you've got to do a little bit of something. A real guy grooms to his level of comfort. The power of this wall trimmer allows that. I don't know what it is, but these blades are awesome. Lithium ion power cuts through without pulling or snagging. Well, I think that we each have our own character when it comes to our facial hair. <laughs> Andrew, he's, he's a, a teddy bear. I think he's hiding the baby face underneath. Sam, his beard's always very, very detailed, groomed. <laughs> Adam, on the other hand, he looks like a wizard. For lack of a better word, he's a nerd. He plays Dungeons and Dragons. My card says level 70 wizard. Ellipses, seriously. <laughs> Jerry has the potential to have the best Chester A. Arthur beard you've ever seen in your life. Now I'm legit. I finally made it. One of the great things about Against the Grain is you don't have to take yourself that serious. If everyone is allowed and encouraged to be unique, to be themselves, <laughs> to be a creative. I feel more like a brewer than I ever had. And I can thank Wall for that. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>